the deepest experiences that you will ever have, they'll always be on your own. But why? The answer is actually really, really cool and really profound. So notice before we get into it that you're always looking for a depth. You always want your experiences to be deep. You don't want this shallow stuff, man. If you listen to an album or you watch a movie, you want it to be deep. You want to be really immersed, right? But why? The reason is very spiritual, man. It's very profound. All right, we're going to kick it off with a, with a big juicy insight. The reason, the real reason you love to be on your own is because you can go the deepest. And the even deeper reason is this. Get this, man. For God to awaken to itself, for you to have enlightenment, you've got to be on your own. You've got to be on your own. This is the deeper reason, man. It doesn't happen with other people, with other figments of your consciousness. You've got to go, you've got to be on your own and you've got to go deep. Because when you have others in your experience, you're still imagining things. You've got distractions. You're co- you know, you're not completely focused. The deepest experiences that you have, man, you are completely on your own. Nothing else exists. The more you know about yourself, your higher self, yourself as God, right, and awakening and enlightenment, the more this will feel natural for you, okay? The more intuitive you are as well, the more this, this will click. And this deep, deep awakening, you may not know it, but you're always trying to have it. You're always trying to have it through things. The reason you love to listen to music on your own is because you get to go the deepest and you get to experience God through the music, but on, on your own. Me personally, I don't really like listen to music with other people as much these days. I used to sh- like kind of share my, my really cool music with my family and stuff. These days I keep it to myself. I'm like, I'm gonna have this just for me, right? And I say me, it's my higher self. Because when I listen to music and it's really freaking good, man, I have like spiritual experiences. Maybe you do too. Because you're so present with the music and it's so like touching your soul. You're like, oh, but you know what's crazy? I've listened to the same music but with other people, with friends and family. And it doesn't hit the same. My soul isn't as connected to the, to the music. I'm not as present. You know why? And this is a very deep point. In my consciousness and, your, and in your consciousness when you're doing this, your ego is imagining these other people. Having these other people is subtly keeping your ego intact. Whereas when you're on your own, you can probably let go. It's just like why the monk would close his eyes when he meditates. Because the outer world, outer world, (laughs) is a distraction from him awakening him to himself, okay? It's a distraction, a subtle distraction. His ego is keeping these things alive and he's projecting these things so long as he's looking uh, outward, his eyes are open. But when he closes his eyes, and he removes that from his experience, he's more turned inward. He is closer to God. It's the reason why you close your eyes when you meditate. It's just easier because your consciousness can more easily focus on itself. It's not seeing things and the world and the illusion, right? So this principle of being on your own to go the deepest, it applies as well to movies, to films, right? So maybe you've seen that your experience of a film or a movie is so much more different and deeper when you're on your own. Whereas when you're with other people, you know, I notice that when I'm with other people and I watch films, people laugh at stuff and they wouldn't normally laugh at that, just kind of like it's, it's like socially funny, if you know what I mean, you know? Whereas when you're on your own, that social, subtle social survival doesn't exist. It's about you and, and you going as deep as you can into that movie. And of course, there is the fact that, you know, if the person that you're with or the people that you're with don't get the movie as much as you do, it is a little bit like, how do you not get that? That offends the soul, <laughs> you know? This, that's happened to me a lot. <laughs> that can be a little bit frustrating. It's sort of like the, the movie isn't being experienced, it's, it's not being done, you know, justice. That feel, it's so beautiful, right? And when people don't get it, it's like, oh my God. It's a, it's a waste of a, of a viewing experience, okay? But again, what that really is, 
is it's you or your soul disappointed about the lack of connection with that movie. You want to go deep, you want to go as deep as you possibly can in connecting with the movie. You want to be literally one with the movie. You want to have a spiritual experience when you watch a movie, if possible, okay? But when you're with other people, maybe they're on their phone, maybe they're eating a bunch of food, or maybe they're making a bunch of noises. This is like disappointing for the soul, okay? Because you want to go deep. This is why you have to watch that film on your own and enjoy it to the max. And this isn't just if you're an introvert, okay? Because even if you're not, the ultimate truth is you do want to be on your own. You do want to go deep with these experiences and you do want enlightenment, which is the desire behind all of these things, okay? You're looking to re unite with yourself, you're looking to merge with yourself, which can only happen if you're on your own with this sort of single pointed focus, this direct consciousness, no distractions, presence. This is how you're going to awaken. And as you can probably guess, this also applies to the gym and working out. So, you know, notice there's a huge difference in your level of presence and immersion when you're working out with other people versus you working out on your own. Because when you're on your own, you get to go the deepest man. You get to face your soul, you get to face your demons, right? This is what working out is, is about. In fact, one of the best things I ever saw was a really good friend of mine. We were walking and he was sharing that he works out a lot these days. And almost like a knee-jerk, socially conditioned reaction, I said, oh bro, we should work out. And I was like, wait, I'm not sure about that actually. And he, a brilliant man, he said, actually man, I, I prefer working out on my own these days. And I said, God bless you, sir. God bless you. I love you and I understand you and I'm the same. The freaking respect that I have for that dude because of what he said there is through the roof because he respects his own consciousness. When he says, I like to work out on my own, he's really saying, I like to be on my own so that I can be deeper with my own experience, have a deeper workout, feel more connected to God. That's what he's really saying. We're gonna call it there. If you want any support via coaching or mentoring, I do offer that. You can see my website in the link in the description. Otherwise, man, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care, and as always, peace.